everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. It is the end of the month which means it is time for another favorites video and this is just going to be my September 2021 favorites. If you have missed any of my past favorites videos I will have a playlist linked down below and as always I will try to leave as many of the products mentioned in this video in the description box in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of them. So without further ado let's get started. Starting off I have two beauty related products and the first one is from Bath and Body Works and it is one of their fine fragrance mists and this one is in their new scent lakeside citrus let me tell you this smells so good as we know i suck at describing scents so i will just go ahead and read the fragrance notes which are autumn air citrus zest and sparkling water my mom and i have been obsessed with this and wearing this non-stop it's definitely a more mature scent it is not something i would see a middle schooler wearing in any way shape or form and for some reason my mom and i have smelled a scent similar to this but we cannot for the life of us put our finger on what it is so if you've tried this scent and have also had thoughts that you've smelled it before and have figured out why definitely let me know in the comments down below because it is literally on the tip of our tongues and we cannot figure it out I have also been loving a mascara as we all know I'm obsessed with different mascaras do I wear it in all my videos no do I wear mascara every day no do I still absolutely love mascara and have way too many yes I actually got this in one of my ipsy bags it is the bomb cosmetics mad lash black mascara and this mascara does wonders it literally makes it look like you are wearing false lashes with one simple coat the brush is definitely a little different than the normal one as you guys can see it does have a little bit of a curve but it's nothing major next up is clothing and I have three different products this first one you guys may not consider to be clothing however at this point I would and that is face masks specifically the Vera Bradley ones I cannot remember for the life of me if I've mentioned this in a favorites this year I think I did last year but I'm not sure if I've already mentioned them this year I'm sorry for doing a repeat but I am obsessed with them this is the first one I got it is just a really pretty pink blue and white pattern this one is nasty and I've washed it about a million times and it's still gross so I decided to go to Target and see if by any chance they had more because that is where I got this one and I scored big time I actually found three and the best part is that they were on sale typically they are eight dollars however I paid four dollars for each of them this is the one I have been wearing most recently and I absolutely love it and fun fact I actually have to modify these on my own when you first get these it is a single loop one that goes around your head this way and I could not stand it so I cut it and measured and made my own ear loops using the elastic that comes on it I would definitely run to Target see if you can find them I also have a shoe favorite which I don't think I've had a shoe favorite in quite some time and it is these shoes now the thing about these is you're probably like oh crocs you're wrong though these are actually from walmart they are by the time and true brand and obviously they are bright yellow i have been wanting yellow crocs for the longest time however i'm not ready to pay 45 dollars for a pair of rubbery styrofoam shoes and i was at walmart and i spotted these from way across the store and it was the last pair they had and they just also so happened to be my size and they were only ten dollars and i have been wearing these every day since i got them they are honestly way more comfortable than regular crocs i don't know why i feel like they have more support in the arch and in the heel than real crocs do lastly for clothing is a pair of shorts and these ones are just from american eagle they are the high rise shorty shorts and they are just a light wash as you can see there is distressing on the back pocket as well as distressing on the front i actually found these at marshall's one thing you guys should know about me is that i am not someone who pays full price for name brand clothing i like to get it at places like marshall's and tj maxx and burlington and places like that i got these for 11.99 as opposed to 50 at american eagle and they literally have this exact pair of shorts listed on the american eagle website at full price i have never really been a high-waisted person however recently i have been loving high-waisted american eagle stuff and they are just super comfortable super stretchy and they fit great and then my last five favorites are all pretty random and the first one is a wax melt this is from better homes and gardens i got it at walmart and it is their white tahitian woods wax melt the scent notes it 
has are bergamot waters, white pineapple, sea salt, coconut, birch leaves, lavender, sandalwood, teak, and cedarwood. And it makes my room smell amazing and really relaxing as well. I've also been loving a cleaning product, which I don't know if I've ever actually included a cleaning product. This one is from Mrs. Myers, and it is one of their limited edition scents, and it is the apple cider scent. This is just the all-purpose cleaner, and it smells so good. I got it from Lowe's. They had a little stand with all these different Mrs. Myers limited edition fall scents, and let me tell you, when you clean with this, it makes your house smell like a cozy Sunday fall night. And this is one of those products where I definitely think I'm gonna have to go back and stock up on them. I also have a dessert favorite, and it is just these. I'm sure you've all seen these. They are becoming very popular. It is the My Mochi Ice Cream. This one is specifically the strawberry one. It all started when I saw a little cart of them at our grocery store and they had these little single ones. I had heard so many things about them but wasn't ready to just jump in and buy a box that comes with six of them if I didn't like it. So I started with getting two of the singles and of course I absolutely loved it. They taste so good. It is basically like this doughy ball and then inside of it is strawberry ice cream and they also have a ton of other flavors they have double chocolate sweet mango vanilla bean cookies and cream green tea s'mores and many more I have only ever tried the strawberry ones and let me tell you I'm obsessed with them I also have a decor favorite and it is this cute little sign that just says welcome fall with a cute little raccoon wearing a scarf I found this at a store called Christmas tree shop it is kind of like a home goods Marshalls TJ Maxx store here in Maine I'm not sure if they have them anywhere else Else, but they always have a ton of great stuff. This one was only $3.99 and if you guys didn't know I am obsessed with the raccoons I literally have an entire shelf of just raccoon stuff above me right here I just think raccoons are adorable and I'm kind of obsessed with them And I just thought this was such a cute little sign and then lastly is this little purple pouch And you're probably wondering what it is This is actually my newest EpiPen case and it is from a website called Allermates I've actually mentioned them quite a bunch here on my channel and I I noticed on their website they had this and I was like I have to have it and the main reason I got this is for the simple fact that inside of it there is a little temperature strip right here because if you guys didn't know EpiPens cannot reach over a certain temperature or else it goes bad and so since it was summer I definitely wanted to have a case that had a temperature strip in it that could tell me how hot they were getting and if I needed to move them and stuff like that on the inside it just looks like this over here is a little pouch that I just stuck Ben drill in. There is a little divider right here that you can put all your information on. I have yet to do that and I've had this thing for months. And then over on this side there are bungee straps to actually hold your EpiPen in. This one specifically is obviously made for the AviQ. I have an entire allergy related playlist that I will leave down below for you guys. Definitely go check it out. I have a ton of other videos where I mention traditional EpiPen cases, AviQ ones. I show you guys what is in my allergy bag and stuff like that. And what's really nice is that it also has a little kit carabiner clip on it and you can also put it on a belt loop if you wanted. So those have just been my favorites for September. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you have been loving this month. While you guys are down there be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I upload new videos frequently and would love it if you'd become part of our little family. Also be sure to hit the bell so that you are in fact notified every time I do upload a new video. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!